It's a beautiful morning in Montgomery, Alabama, and instead of viewing it from inside a classroom, a small group of children is out getting to enjoy it. But even with the sunshine and leaves, they are still learning, and their lesson plan is taking place on a farm. Hampstead Institute is a teaching urban farm. The idea is we turn vacant properties in uh, Montgomery into production farms where we're growing and selling produce to local communities. Uh, we then use the farm as a platform to run education programs to teach kids about where their food comes from and make sure they understand why it's important to eat fresh, healthy food. Edwin Marty was asked to come to Montgomery after successfully developing an urban teaching farm in Birmingham called the Jones Valley Farm. He hopes to develop something similar here at Hampstead and he knows how important that would be for the city. I mean, we know here in Alabama and specifically here in Montgomery that we've got some of the highest rates of dietary related diseases anywhere in the country. We think that you know, 33, 40 percent of our elementary school students are medically obese. All of those uh, students unfortunately are very high candidates for becoming diabetic. So we've got to confront this issue of what children are eating at a very young age. Good job! Everybody put their seed in! Hampstead farm manager Ann Randall agrees. She says kids form their eating habits at a young age and hopes Hampstead will open their eyes to healthier options. We get a lot of kids who come out and say, I don't eat anything but meat and candy. And we have to explain, um, you know, the benefits of eating vegetables, uh, all the good things that are in there, and then if we can get them to taste those things. Um, that's that's the core thing that we try to do with every group. But Hampstead employees say the best way to get students to change their eating habits is to give them hands-on experience as a farmer. Students visiting the farm are able to plant their own vegetables like peas and turnips. Farmers hope this gives students an appreciation for producing their own locally grown food. We saw that the experience, the ownership of a child putting a seed in the ground then translates to the discovery of that seed turning into something that's edible and then that ownership of the child pulling the plant out of the ground is where that complete change in attitude starts as opposed to you know a parent opening a can and dumping a can of vegetables out on a plate. A lot of the kids haven't had contact with where their food, food is coming from. So if we can get them in at this age and um, show them that you know plants grow in the ground, they don't just appear in the grocery stores, um, we can get them interested in how it's grown, they're more likely to want to eat it. I've seen kids at field trips out here even um, who've eaten beets and said, oh my gosh, it's like candy, I love this, when if they're at the table uh, eating dinner they look at it and, and they don't they don't want to touch it because they, they don't know what its history is. Once they see it pulled out of the ground, it, it gets them more excited and interested in the food. And this leads kids to actually be excited about eating healthier. I got the hugest! They realize for the first time that just because they've heard that it's yucky doesn't mean that it's yucky. In addition to educational field trips, Hampstead is also trying to help improve school lunches in Montgomery City schools. Marty says they are working with the superintendent to try to bring in more locally produced food into cafeterias. His hope is for students to not only learn about healthy food, but actually have access to it as well. For the Southern Education Desk, I'm Erica Lembo.